Oh, and there's an extra challenge here. It says, write a function called multiply, given two numbers. Multiply returns their product. Uh, very important, look at this. You should not use multiply operator. You should multiply negative numbers as well. So that's the call. Let's create a function multiply which takes two numbers and which takes two numbers and we cannot use multiply operator. So 4 multiplied by 7 gives us 28, right? Which is 4 plus 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So this is what it means, right? Means uh, 4 comes 7 times. So considering that, let's create a formula while num2 is not 0. Right? Can we say that? While num2 is not 0. Uh, array dot push num1. And then, uh, and then we can log our array here. Let's see if it works. Array is not defined. Yes, it is not defined. How about now? Where the answer is? Right. Let's see the problem. Let's say while well, it's larger than zero. So we don't go to minus. What is the problem? You say it's out of memory. Why? Why are we out of memory? Let's see the problem. Well, number two. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Number two minus minus. We should be uh, lowering read, lowering the number two, right? Yeah, now we got it. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So we got this seven times now. And now, and now, uh, we need to add those arrays and get the sum. More sum. Sum. Simply add them. And then the ACC and each element. Uh, excuse me, I just do it for myself. This reminds me that ACC equals to zero, initialized as zero. ACC equals ACC plus element return ACC. So now we should get the sum. All right. So we multiplied four by seven without using the multiply operator. So. Now it gets more interesting. You should multiply negative numbers as well. If we say this is negative, this works. If we say this is negative, it didn't work. So let's solve the problem. 
So let's go up to here. If num2 high than 0, high than 0, do this, right? What did I just do? Let's just get this here and then put it here. Yeah. And then else if num2 is negative, do this. We're here. What we should do is we should abs the num2, right? Otherwise, that won't work. We should abs num2. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh. If we're trying, let's add minus in here because we want to return minus. In here. Let's try it. It didn't work again. Let's see the problem. Let's say uh, num2 equals, right? So this, and then this becomes positive. And then. Let's see how it goes from there. Let's try it in the console. So what we did, we just num2 equals this. All right, we got it. But we got it for some reason plus, where it should have been minus. Let's see the problem. Mm-hmm. This is negative, then we should return a negative, right? Why it becomes positive? So if num2 is positive, then we return this, right? If num2 is negative, we should return this. So, oh, we forgot to put here, sorry, we forgot to put this here, and then uh, num2 equals this, yeah, yeah, there you go, we got minus v7. So, uh, this works then. Uh, should multiply negative numbers, yeah, this works. So what we did is we, we ordered this. So here minus num2 becomes plus and then here it becomes plus and then it just keeps doing the rest and then at the end we simply add minus. So whatever we do in here, let's try one more time. Whatever change we add in here, let's say minus uh, oh wait, this is not gonna work then, right? Oh, no, yeah, it should work, it should work, it should work. Minus 4 and minus 7 gives us this. Let's say uh, 4 and 7 should give us 28. Let's say minus 4 and 7 gives us this. And etc, etc, etc. And if this was 0, Undefined though. Let's add one more condition here. If num1 equals 0 or num2 equals 0, simply return 0, right? If you know the rules, whenever you're multiplying any number by 0, the answer is zero. Let's try it. Uh, go back to console, clear the 
Right, let's say this was zero. Yeah, we got the zero. Let's say this was zero. We got the zero. So, yeah, we got the answer. Thank you so much.